Hey, thank you for tuning in to Billionaires Club 101. Today's topic is Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash is making headlines based on the comment she says that um, in regards to believe that Jada Pinkett and Will Smith are uh, posing a ban on the Oscars, uh, reason being of not um, paying um, attention to black films. So that I believe, you know, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett have some history in the acting arena, so they have any, or the acting industry, so they have an idea of uh, what's what in Hollywood. But also, let's go back to Stacey Dash. Uh, this is a person that everyone's uh, giving a lot of attention to, where uh, that only really puts more attention to Stacey Dash and gives her more spotlight. But she's no spokesperson for uh, black culture. Um, and I also want to say that. Um, a few things about Stacey Dash, just so we can give her, you know, what, what she's about. And, you know, she had a, a long career in acting. I believe she started in the 80s. Uh, one of her uh, first movies, or one of the maybe no movies, is uh, a movie with Richard Pryor, a uh, movie. So she was with, um, she, she played on a lot of um, movies, and, and she has to go to parents and all things. But for her to say, band uh, BET, so she's saying, let's ban BET. Well, let's go back and, and let's look at her stats. So Stacey Dash, uh, she's been married three times. The average um, marriage relationship she had, or the, the lifespan of that marriage, uh, average one year average. So the longest um, time she's been married is for three years. Okay, So she's been married three times. Uh, she was uh, hired as a Fox News contributor. And you know she, made, she was suspended for two weeks. Uh, for making some uh, profanity in terms of terrorist attacks and Obama, all these things, but also gave negative attention. So she's known for saying things that just doesn't sound so with a person that has that education. And maybe she does, maybe she doesn't, it doesn't matter. But it just doesn't sound so intelligent. But Fox News saw that uh, based on her comments, she was suspended for two weeks without pay. Okay? But back on to the BET, she said there should be a ban on BET because of racial segregation all those things. Well, let's look at um, Stacey Dash. She also played, had a recurring role on the BET show called The Game. Now, this is a all-black cast called The Game. Uh, she had a recurring role from 2009 to 2011, two years. Those two years worth of acting gave you uh, the spotlight and also gave you a good check. So, all these things said and done, I believe that Stacey Dash is completely clueless at what's going on. The Oscars, of course, it's uh, the main stage that people want to be recognized for. Of course, you have the, the BET Awards and all those things. Uh, the BET Awards because of a lot of black actors and actresses and um, uh, musicians and all those things are not being recognized by the major um, award shows. And a lot of these are mainstream where you have a crossover families, where you have Caucasians, or different ethnicities, but it's not all black, so everyone will be on that main stage. Now, the reason why BET was created, it was created back in the 1980s. Um, last name, a uh, gentleman of Robert Johnson, I believe his name is, started a, uh, got a $15,000 um, startup, and then also got back with $500,000 to start the cable network. Now, over the years, if you didn't know the Stacey Dash, um, BET lost its status as a black-owned television network. Uh, BET was bought out by Viacom. Now, Viacom is not owned by the side of it. So, based on um, BET being bought out by Viacom, that gave that to the way BET's um, right to say they are a black-owned business because they're no longer because Viacom is not owned by a black person. Now the CEO, Deborah Lee, who was um, the president of BET, she's in charge of all the uh, ways that uh, BET is functioning, but she gets a check from Viacom. Now if you don't know what Viacom is, I suggest you Google that company, and you'll see who the owners of Viacom is not a black person, okay? And uh, another thing is, we should get riled based on uh, a personal, personal view. Uh, Stacey Dash has every right to uh, say what she feels, but also you got to understand that you represent a certain class of people. Whether you want to 
uh, declassify yourself as being black. That's your own personal business. But when you're looking in the mirror and you review you, you are a person of color. So you're absolutely, you're absolutely representing a black culture. So it just, you know, I think you have some self hate. Stacey Dash, I think you have some self hate issues and it's projecting outward, where I know that's projecting inward, so you're only um, incomplete. So let's not give uh, Stacey Dash too much credit on BET and the Oscars. I feel that if the Oscars are not um, showcasing black film, then in, in certain black actors who are at the height of their career, they know what's going on in Hollywood. I believe those people have the credentials to say what exactly what they're experiencing because we don't walk there. We're not walking in their shoes. We don't know what's going on. They do. Stacey Dash, you haven't played in a major role that's uh, give you any Academy Awards or anything like that. So I don't think you know what they experience. And I believe that Will Smith and Pinkett uh, has a legitimate argument. Um, this is my take on um, Stacey Dash. It's not making too much of a big deal of what she says. It's just that the media is going to point the spotlight out and it's going to uh, snowball to just something that it shouldn't be. So just give her her time shine. It's 15 minutes. 15 minutes now. Longer. Let's go back to the real issues of the world. But also, I would like to thank you for tuning in to uh, Billionaires Club 101. We promote a um, an array of certain uh, things, whether it be working from home, uh, financial education, and other things to earn an extra income uh, online. Yeah, if you would like to subscribe to our channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and then you'll get a world of information on what we do with Billionaires Club 101. And if you um, happen to uh, be so kind, we do have a donate, a donate button on our channel as well. So if you like to donate to our channel, we thank you very much. This brings a little bit more spotlight to the rest of the world. You have a great day. Thank you.